Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where this is going to be answering a student question that I've had on the channel based on IGCSE Maths. And Sarah here, I hope she doesn't mind, has asked me about one of the time questions from a paper four from 2015. And if you've got your own questions, then of course, send a screenshot across to the email you see in front of you, gingermathpetition at gmail.com. And as I say there, I'll take a look. So let's have a look at Sarah's question. So this is based on speed, distance, time. Now, Fredo, good old Fredo, lives in Manchester and he drives to Cambridge for a meeting. Suitable, since this is the Cambridge exam board. And the distance from Manchester to Cambridge is 300 kilometres. And Fredo leaves Manchester at 7.05 and arrives in Cambridge at 10.50, which sounds about reasonable. I need to calculate the average speed. So as soon as I see speed in a question, I have almost ready in my mind, or you can write it down, the speed distance time triangle. So this is uh, one you need to know for the IGCSE course, and not just maths, but also physics as well. So we want to work out the average speed. Uh, we have the distance here in the question, so that's 300 kilometers. And now we need to work out the time taken. <clears throat> well, the time taken between Manchester and Cambridge, well, that's gonna be equal to three hours and 45 minutes. However, before we can use the formula, we need to convert this into just hours. And this is the most important point of the question. So remember, at 45 minutes is three quarters of an hour. And three quarters as a decimal, you can check this on your calculator, is 0 0.75. So the most important thing to do on this question, Sarah, is to change this into just hours. So 3.75 hours. Once we have that, we can use the formula triangle. So we're looking for the speed. So we're going to do D divided by T. So S is equal to D over T. We've checked the units are the same, kilometers and hours. So now we can do 300 for the distance divided by the time taken, which is 3.75. And if you pop that into your calculator, you will get the answer of 80. So we can pop in 80 as our final answer. Now for part B, after the meeting, Fred decides to go back to Manchester and his average speed for this journey is 5% more than the average speed driving to Cambridge. So this, what this means is 5% more than the answer we just worked out here. He leaves Cambridge at 1745 and we want to work out the time that's important. So when we use the formula triangle, Fredo arrives in Manchester. So first of all, we need to work out the new average speed. So we need to add on 5% of 80 onto the original answer. Well, 5% of 80, well, that's going to be equal to 4. 10% um, is 80, and then to find 5%, we divide by 2. So that gives us 4. So the new average speed is going to be equal to 84 kilometers per hour, pretty fast. And we still know the distance hasn't changed between Cambridge and Manchester. That is still at 300 kilometers. So to work out the time taken, I'm gonna use my formula triangle over here. So no more time. So we're gonna do distance divided by speed. So that's gonna be 300 divided by 84. Now let's go to my calculator and work this out. So you can see I've already worked this out. So 300 divided by 84 is equal to 25 over seven, which as a decimal is 3.5714. So I'm gonna write in 3.5714. However, this is just in hours. So what we need to do here is convert this into hours and minutes. The way that we do this is just focus on the decimal. So I'm going to take my decimal, the 0 0.5714, and I'm going to times that by 60. Because so there are 60 minutes in an hour. If I do that calculation, um, I'm not sure if I've got the answer here. Yep, I get 34, approximately 34 minutes. So if you do that calculation, so we can rewrite this as 3 hours and 34 minutes. Now this is not our final answer, because we want to find the time uh, Fredo arrives in Manchester. So we need to add three hours 
and 34 minutes to the initial starting time. So that's going to give us 2045. Then we add on the extra 34 minutes and that's going to end up at 2119 using, of course, the 24 hour clock. Now for part C, this is a little bit different, this question. So Fredo's car uses fuel at the rate of 8.1 kilometer per litre. Fuel costs £1.45 per litre. I think at the moment it's going to cost a little bit more. And then find the total cost of fuel going from Manchester, Cambridge and back. So remember, it was 300 kilometres to go from Manchester to Cambridge. To go back is also 300 kilometres. So we want to work it out for 600 kilometres. Now, the way that we do this, we're going to work out uh, how many litres are needed. So to work out the number of litres of petrol, we're going to take the 600 and then divide it by how many per litre to 8.1. And once we've got that answer, so I'm going to just leave that there to work out the total cost. We're going to take out how many litres are required, which is 600 divided by 8.1. And we're going to times that by the price here, so 1.45. And if we pop that into the calculator, which I'll do just now. So 600 divided by 8.1, and then we times that by 1.45, we get this number here. So 107.407, 100. I've forgotten what the answer was now. <laughs> 107.407, that helps. 0.407. And again, whenever we've got currency, we tend to do this to two decimal places. So it's going to be 107 pounds and 41 pence for our answer. So it's a question that doesn't come up all the time, but as you can see in past papers, it does come up from time to time. So you do need to be aware how to work with speed distance time calculations and also conversions essentially, which is what this question is. Okay, you can see the mark scheme and you can see where you get the marks. If you have your own questions, then please let me know in either the comments below or just email me at the email you saw at the start of this video and I'd be happy to help. Right, see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.